Hello and welcome to me going through some more of my record collection. Now this time I've decided to haul out, haul out Frankie Goes to Hollywood or FGTH. Oh, actually these days, ah, uh, FDTH. <laughs> what does that stand for? Ah, oh, forget it. <laughs> anyway. When Frankie burst onto the scene, um, I actually was a very big fan, and um, they, okay, they were rather controversial for their time, and the very first single was Relax. Now, you think I'm going to show that cover that got them the ahems, don't you? Well, there's this instead. So this is the... American copy. I don't quite get the whole digital look of the cover, but that must have been the thing of the day, I suppose. Uh, maybe the idea is that you could insert this into a computer somewhere and you might get some surprise message, which would probably wind up being the lyrics to the song, in whatever language you desire. Maybe the idea is that you can't read some of the no go slow, no slow up, no fell low, something or other. Well, I can't read it. Probably people with better eyesight would read that, I think. At the moment people are there going, how dare you show that rude <laughs> The other side was a little bit more kind of, um, had a photo. <laughs> Already looking kind of pissed off. First paragraph says a lot, to the point where no one knows what to say. So I think I'll join that. <laughs> I'm only doing what it says. The funny thing is, is that I didn't realise that Holly was singing what he was actually singing. I, I thought he was singing when, when you want to comb. <laughs> As in, when you want to comb your hair. I was so naive. <laughs> And, um, but no, it was about combing something else. <laughs> now, what could that have been? But the one that did get them into trouble was this. And it's the UK sleeve, where that DJ went a little bit, oh my God, this is just so raunchy. And, um, of course, the video clip was banned and I didn't see it until a number of years later, actually. I don't think I'd want to be with any vicinity of those heels, though. Front or rear. And you can take that whichever way you like. And you can take that whichever way you like. <laughs> Ooh, ah, goes on and on and on. <laughs> Taking it however way you like. Ooh, I might just stop there. <laughs> Next up is the UK copy of Two Tribes. Another sort of like, but in about 1985, there actually were a lot of anti-war songs, and this was one of them. The 12-inch single, or one of the 12-inch single covers, I think you had three to choose from, didn't you? <laughs> had a rather compromising freeze of the video clip. <laughs> It's the two world leaders there. And to further kind of get the point across, the other side has a little bit of info there about the whole nuclear bizzo between America and Russia, because it was the Cold War was going on. Yes, back, back in the day when everyone thought they could do a Ronald Reagan impersonation. See, I can't do one either. <laughs> Mine just sounds like some sleazy gigolo trying to make five dollars. In which case, relax, don't do it. And next up is the German pressing to Power of Love. And one of the things I kind of found is the third singles tended to be the obligatory ballad. It's kind of, oh, we've done this and we've done so the, we, we'd better throw out a ballad to make it look like we can do something different. And this was one of them, featuring a whole nativity thing with its video clip, which 
rankled a few religious people, I think. How dare these gay people sing about... Gee, the amount of material required for that. Why, they must have used rolls and rolls. Then again, how's rolls spelled there? Could be either way and describe the same thing. And next up is the Australian pressing to Welcome to the Pleasure Dome. By this stage, with all the promotion, I'm surprised it didn't so like come with a free miniature helicopter to go with the video clip. I like how the future is a bowl of fruit. I mean, it's kind of, they say life is a bowl of cherries, but according to them, life is a bowl of, oh, there's a bit of apple. Oh, that could do, that could be to do with Adam and Eve. Go right back to the start. There we go. Circle of something. This cover looks like it was meant to be used as a coaster or something. Or maybe you just buy a whole heap of copies and make it look like tiles on your wall. Either that, or you can stick pins in it and make a picture. Even though the picture's already there. <laughs> oh, and of course, it does state, where is the Marquis de Sade? Well, on the other side of the single, it actually answers that question, so I'd better show that to you, hadn't I? There we go, that's the answer to your question. Uh, resplendent with the usual Frankie Goes to Hollywood blurb. Kind of typical 80s, really. Yeah, that, that mid-80s thing of sending a mail order and hoping something will come back to you in return. Now, next up is a, an Australian, an, another Australian press, pressing of Welcome to the Pleasure Dome, but this one is just kind of weird. <laughs> I, I think that kind of something went a little bit wrong in the pressing plant. <laughs> Maybe it was asking for... Twice the pleasure, perhaps? The only problem is, is that you can't play it to the full fade-out. We can try, but your needle wouldn't be too thrilled with you. And then they took a bit of hiatus, and they came back, as you do, and this is the UK pressing to Rage Hard. I'll add a fist there. There we go. Give them a bit of a fisting. <laughs> <laughs> Q photo. Yeah, I suppose there's nothing wrong with adding a sixth fist. Gee, that's hard to say. Anyway, the sixth one would would bring out all the colours of the rainbow then. So the diamond on top is a bit of an embellishment. But I suppose if you're going to have a diamond, you may as well have it on the top fist. I like the 12 inch though. Have a, have a listen to the 12 inch because it's really quite clever. It would be on YouTube. The idea was that they would have a heavier sound. I quite like the single, but you could tell it just wasn't really working out. I don't think it went as well as they would have liked. And next up is the UK pressing to Warriors of the Wasteland. Now, I'm not quite sure what they're trying to do there. Whether they're trying to mimic some ancient art, or it is actually some ancient art. I have to admit, I like how they've made it look like you can't tell whether they're running towards something or running away from something. But I do notice that there's one main one and four not quite so main ones. <laughs> so maybe it's a um, representation of the group, perhaps. Holly's out front and the others are running behind. But looking at the other side... The picture of Holly there is rather interesting. It's like he's trying to revisit the clip to relax or something. <laughs> Maybe that's what it is. Warriors of the Wasteland. It's a drug song. <laughs> and again, I'm being flippant and I'll wind up being right. <laughs> and last but not least is Watching the Wildlife. UK copy. And they're pretty much in their um, end days once this was released. You could kind of tell. It was almost like this was released to just release another single and see how we go. The way they've made that. Looks like the wildlife is watching us. Mightn't be a bad idea, given what we do to it. And then on the other side, you've got a lovely group shot. Well, that black blurb, though, is uh, telling us who did what. Though... 
you'll be able to read it a lot better than I can. I noticed the uh, little community service announcement in the bottom left corner though. Initially I thought it was a syringe though. Mind you, they look more like the little hands from left over from the Warriors of the Wasteland cover. Maybe, that, maybe that's what they're running towards, is to grab themselves one of those. Anyway, I am off, and hopefully you enjoyed that. And it's always interesting putting these, these things together, because I have no idea what I'm going to say before, and more often than not, afterwards I don't quite know what I've said. <laughs> Regardless, I got here in the end. <laughs> no, here. I got here in the end, not there we are, especially with a group like that. <laughs> Ooh, ah, um, yeah, so with a group like that, I got here in the end. Yeah. <laughs> Give myself a big rainbow slap with the glove. Uh, anyway, I'm off now into the ether, wherever that might be. A bit of Alvin Stardust and all that. And hopefully you enjoyed this, and if you did, please do the likes and subscribes and the bells and the whistles and all of that sort of stuff. I'm just waving dust around. Oh. <laughs> and hopefully I shall see you in the next one. Please take care now. Right. Ciao. Mm.